Okay, so now that you have been through some theory behind the destruction, we will see how we apply this theory inside Unreal. Inside Unreal Engine 5, you will see this icon here that says Activate Fracture Editing Mode. And if you're not using Unreal Engine 5, you need to go to your Epic Games Launcher and add the version 4.26 Chaos Preview. If you're using Unreal Engine 4, this is the way you will see this window. So inside of here, uh, we have a bunch of options that are very similar to the theory we saw before. And it all begins with the clustering. So to show this better, I'm gonna drag a cube here, go to my create tab, shapes, and then drag a cube, okay? And now that I have this, if I go to my fracture mode, nothing happens. And the reason is we haven't created a fracture asset. So let's just duplicate this so you can have an idea of how this works. Let's click here. And the first thing we need to do is to go to our generate asset button. And when we do that, we will have an option where we want to save it. We can go to here to Mastering Chaos, Geometry Collections, Create. And now we have a asset that is using Chaos. So if I press Shift 1 and I click Play, you will see that this asset has physics and this asset has not. Okay. And the reason I'm seeing this material is because I'm previewing the material visualization. So I'm gonna sh press Shift B, and then when I click outside, I won't be able to show it. Sometimes it's a bug where you can open a new level, you can open the level again, and now you will see that your chaos is working fine. So there are a couple of things we can check here. Inside our fracturing, you will see that we can press Shift B to check the material. Or you can press Shift E to explode, and we will see that later. Or Shift S or W to change the level of fracture. So what I want to do here is to have a basic fracture for this one. And we will go through all these methods here. But for now, we're going to use a uniform Voronoi fracture, which is very standard when you want when you want to fracture your mesh this is a very standard way to fracture it so we're going to click fracture okay and you will see a preview here of what you can do let me make some space here so you can have a look of the properties okay so you can change the random seed this will actually change the way we use the noise, we'll use a random noise for this one. And we can leave a chance to fracture, draw the diagram if we want to see it or not. And this one can be very important, the amplitude. You will see how it will change, or more about the frequency. And all these things just change the number of boronoids. For me, uh, this one is the most important, is the minimum boronoid. Let's say I just want 50. Um, I want minimum boronoid like 10. Uh, you will see that uh, I have more chunks here to work with. Uh, I would leave it like 40 or something like this. Okay. And once you do that, you will click fracture. And if I go here again, Shift 1, click this one. Uh, the way to preview this is if I press Shift E, I will explode the amount. I can change the material by using Shift B. I can explode the amount. Okay. And I can actually use this one if I, if I want it. And then I have my clusters. So you see I have two levels. Level zero is our root. So if I go here to my level zero and I press shift E, nothing will happen. And the reason is the root is 
like the base of everything. If we check the diagram here, we will have a root and then our root will be composed of several chunks here. And this will be level zero, this will be level one. And if I want to go through different levels, I can go again and fracture again to have like level two. Okay, and I can continue and go on with all these ones. So now that I have my chunks here, there are some useful buttons we can use with chaos. We can shift E to explode, like we said before. You can actually use this one. You can change the fracture level to zero, one, or any other fracture level you have, or choose all levels. This will preview how many levels you have. With shift Q and shift E, you will be able to explode and shift S and shift W, you will be able to go through different fracture levels. And finally, shift B will preview your fracture material, your clusters here that you can see uh, more clearly the chunks, especially when you are in explode among zero, it will be easier to see with this mode. But in my case, I don't want to see it. So once we have this, this is a very basic setup. So let's go to shift one and then let's press play. Okay, and it's kind of working, uh, but you can see it's a little bit chunky. Let me change the size of this one. We have enough space. So if we hit play, uh, you will see that the simulation is uh, a little bit bad. So where what we're gonna do next is to improve the quality of this simulation uh, by changing some properties here. 